That fireworks show was amazing. Girl Desire to Inspire, aka Shay. How are you guys today? And of course, we have right here Mission and Adventures Live Your Dream Today. And we are Mitchell's Magical Moments. If you're into Disney, Disney commentary, anything Disney, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click on that bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video so you can be a part of the notification squad. Hashtag Notification Squad. Make sure to comment below. Let us know if you are a part of the Notification Squad so we can welcome you to the squad. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, so today, oh my goodness, we're going to talk about our reactions to the new Epcot um, fireworks display. Yeah, Epcot Forever. Epcot Forever. Ooh, wow. So, I don't know about you guys, but last night we were on the live stream of Resort TV One. Yeah, shout, shout out to Resort TV One. Shout out to you, big ups. And we were watching it with them. Yeah. And honestly, guys, just from watching from here in New York City, that fireworks show was amazing. amazing. Oh, by the way, so all the clips I'm using right now, because I'm editing, this is post-production, Shayla. All the clips I am using right now are from w WDW Magic. So shout out to WDW Magic because they only had, like, the, the show. I didn't have to download a live stream and hours of footage. I just wanted to show you guys clips of the show. So big ups to them. Subscribe to them. Do all that nice stuff with them. Shout out to WDW Magic. Let's go back on to the commentary. Big ups to Disney. Y'all did a good job. I would not go as far to say it was better than Illuminations. I, to me, I think it's better than uh, Illuminations in some aspects. In what aspects? I would say the the kite scene. The kite, yeah. Yeah, the firing, um, the, the the fireworks on the kite. It looked like it was in flames and stuff. Yeah. That was that was amazing. new technology. New technology yeah. with that that. That right there, they they stepped up big time for it. That was a really really good replacement for it. Really, good. I think it was good. I love the music. Yeah. The music it had it gave me the goosebumps, especially yeah. like the soaring around the world sequence. Because as a lot of you guys know, my favorite ride in Epcot, um, soaring, has to be soaring. Yeah, I mean Test Track is good. They're all good. Yeah, but soaring is like my top like five favorite rides at Epcot. It really is. I love it. It's so scenic and it's just nice. Yeah. So they was playing the music. I get all I got all goosebumpy and I'm she like I'm like, oh I'm getting Disney chills. Yeah. See, Michael K calls it waves of Disney. I say Disney chills. It's like <laughs> when you're watching the Frozen 2 trailer and you're yeah. like, Disney, Disney chills. Like you just get that chill like wow like Oh boy, it just gives you that feeling. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. And oh. after that, we end up watching it again. Yeah. This time on a Disney Park blog because they also were live streaming the new show. Yeah. I want to see what angles that Disney got. Yeah, to get a better view of it this time and see mm -hmm. how high it was. It was <laughs> after we got a good view of it, it was really amazing. I think that to me, that's probably better than Reflections of Earth. As of right now, wow! I think it's probably better than reflection. I think right now, I think people is going to want that more than the new one that's supposed to be coming next year. Harmonious. Harmonious. I think they're gonna want that, and they're gonna be um, sad for that to go. I think so too. Yeah, because Disney, what well, Disney one? Um, resort TV one. Disney, yeah, Resort TV one said that he said I think people are gonna. Miss that one. Miss that one. <laughs> Especially because all the good classic Epcot songs like Veggie Veggie Fruit Fruit, yeah. which is a throwback. Then they played the tapestry, um, the tapestry drums. I forgot. That's the. Oh man, I can't remember. But yeah, they played like some of the old classic Epcot songs. Yeah. And you just really felt this sense of like wow and wonder. And this is us watching it from TV. So yeah. imagine in real life. And people, you know, being in person, there, being there. I know that. 
man, it was a it was a crowded. I know it was real crowded for that first day to see it. Mm-hmm. That first night. Whew, man, they, you could have said everywhere, cameras, everywhere. It was just crazy. <laughs> Yet again, I'm the kind of person that cries watching Happily Ever After from home. Yeah. So I'm out. <laughs> And and they was playing a little bit of um Aladdin in there. Yeah, they play a little bit of Aladdin in there too. Yeah, so I was like, wow, a whole new world. Like, what's going on? What? I thought that that kind of came from left field. Yeah, that did came. I'm left like, field. wait, but it worked. But they it were, did. Let me share this whole new world with. And you know Disney. I always say that they Disney fied music. They were like Disney fied the music, and then Disney fied it more, more. And you're just like. Feel feelings, and you're just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So they did a really good job. Just I do this a lot, just like the violin, because they they kill it with the music. And that's the thing about Disney. Disney has to learn how to stay in their lane. You're so much better when you stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, Disney. Stay in your lane, Disney. Stay in your lane. Because that's what you're best at. You're best at that. Yeah. You get magic when you're in your lane. You know what I mean? Not, not doing something else out of your lane. Yeah. <laughs> no, like the Star Wars stuff is great and all, but stay in your lane. You know? Yeah. Fox is good and all, but stay in your lane. Yeah. You know? Just stay in your lane. <laughs> so I guess we'll end it right here. Yeah. You know we got to end it with fireworks. Yeah. So stay inspired. And always make every day magical. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.